Hi friends, MD Vegan. Time for my daily greens. I'm making a little green salad today, just a starter. And I have a wonderful oak leaf salad, a lettuce here. That's oak leaf. <laughs> See the, the shape of the oak leaf here? That's given the name. They are a little bit different. Um, but the leaves are tender and large. I found out recently, so large leaves here, beautiful and they're tender. That means um, not super tender, they would say medium tender, but they are still easy to handle, have a wonderful flavor. And as long as they are tender, I can easily cut them, uh, tear them apart like this, put them all together. Yeah. In one hand, after washing and draining them thoroughly, I like to drain my salad leaves because, my lettuce, because uh, then the dressing tastes better. The dressing is always the critical moment. You, know? you have to taste the dressing with the leaves and with the ingredients of the salad to know what it tastes like. And salad uh, dressing always dilutes the flavor when it comes on the salad. You cannot really say, uh, ah, this dressing is, tastes great, how let's take it. You have to check it with the leaves first or with the other ingredients, otherwise it changes the flavor and you have to, to find out. So the dressing is important, especially to me. I like the dressing for several reasons. Yeah. First, of course, the balance, the slightly bitter flavor of the greens. You have a, have a whole bowl here. And as I said, a medium tender leaf, I can handle a little bit easier than um, a very tender leaf, like a butterhead, it's a little more tender. Yeah, it mashes easily, you can't put too much burden on it and so forth. Uh, and you cannot toss it right away. You have to wait until you eat it to toss it. But that's So what I do with my um, oak leaf lettuce, I put some very easy ingredients on top. I have a very light tomato. Tomato is light, you know, light. It's just pure water almost, it's a fruit. And the onions, I uh, minced the onion, uh, half an onion into very small pieces. So two small tomatoes, medium small, and one half onion minced in small, small pieces. That is a perfect combination for many salads. I begin my salad recipes, I make a new one all the time, always a little bit change. Yeah. With three ingredients, by the way, like this, <clears throat> tomatoes and onions. Yeah. And then I can add, for example, today I add radish. I have a beautiful radish here, three of them, or four, thinly sliced. My latest finding, <laughs> thinly, thinly slicing the radishes makes it so nice with all so many ingredients. And then I have an avocado. That is a more uh, usual. I have always avocado at home. I like to put them on a salad. A lot of avocado is super healthy fat. Meat fat too, and that is super healthy, so I like to put it on. The radish is rather um, an exception. I don't have always radishes, but you should maybe. It's a cruciferous vegetable, the same family like mustard, broccoli, cauliflower, kale, the super healthy stuff. That is, they can fight cancer. They have a, a sharp flavor. Yeah, the sulforaphane they build, that is a sulfur containing compound, that you build that. And that can fight the cancer, but it has also a sharp flavor, so it's a seasoning too. There's not a common common thing that you have that every day, but here when they are thinly sliced, perfect. I do that with a mandolin. Yeah. You can use other kinds. You can also cut them, but the mandolin is perfect. In other videos I show how to do that. <laughs> it's also fun. And then the last ingredient today <clears throat> is chives. Yeah. I love chives. It's one of the most important kitchen herbs in Germany. It's half a uh, half a bunch. I um, chop it in small pieces, in little sticks, and it is like um, like an onion, but mellow, mild. And it's another green. Greens, dark leafy greens, are our healthiest food. We should eat it every day. People who eat uh, everyday greens, like dark leafy greens, every day, they live. Uh, they are so said to be, by science, biologically, eleven years younger than people that eat only once a week <laughs> the greens. So that's something I would say. 
the dressing here <coughs> with a, a tender leafy green or a medium tender, I don't need that much dressing just to cover everything a little bit. I also have only a small number of ingredients. But before, before I put the dressing on top, I will toss everything because I have the radishes here. And the radishes, they are um, thinly sliced and so um, it's not easy to, to toss them, to, to combine them, uh, to, um, um, to distribute them evenly everywhere in the salad when the dressing is on top. Uh, then when later when I put the dressing on top, I have to struggle when I then only then do the tossing sometimes. I always learn new things. I didn't do that since recently, <clears throat> but it seems to be a good idea. So now I can, um, this tossing doesn't count, but once the dressing is on top, you have to eat it right away when you toss it. So now I put the dressing on top to show you the dressing. It's a garlic cashew dressing. It's made with a lots of garlic and blended with a cashew, cashew nuts, garlic, lemon, pepper, and salt. Very easy. Yeah, I have just a little bit left, but that's perfectly enough for this salad. You see, I don't need much. These tender leafy greens are medium tender, to be precise. Um, <clears throat> they don't need a lot of dressing. They're not very bitter, so you don't need to balance a lot. They're a little bit bitter. But they also balance together with the tomatoes and the onions and the radishes, the sharp flavor, flavor also balances the bitter greens. And of course the avocado lifts the bitter flavor. Uh, avocado, the fat, goes with everything almost. It makes everything milder. So I won't toss it now because once I toss it, I have to eat it right away. So that comes later. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy if you like. But the video, did I say you there's another video? How to make a garlic cashew dressing, you find the link under this one. I hope you enjoy again. <laughs> if you like, like my video, subscribe to MDD on YouTube. Have another recipe every single day. And find me on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and X.